<laughs> Come on, you're, you're supposed to keep going. There ain't nothing to go on. He's making fun of me because oh, I don't know how I don't know how to talk to a camera. <laughs> oh, I tried to get on camera. I didn't. Uh, I didn't press record for early enough. Well. I guess that's as good of an intro as any. Today's the third and final day of practice for the BFL Regional on the on Lake Eufaul, Alabama. And uh, I wouldn't say we're dialed, but we, we got less rods on the deck this morning. Uh, not because we've been catching fish, just the other things ain't catching anything at all. Our goal today is to catch two keepers. <laughs> <laughs> we have been shaking some fish off, so it's, we, it ain't as been as bad as it looks, um, but it, it is it is kind of bad for us. Just us Florida boys, we ain't got nothing to fish up here because the water's so low. Everything's out of there. Ain't no grass to flip. Ain't no laydowns to flip. Everything we're catching is just out in the open chasing chad. So probably got a short day today because there's some weather coming in. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to film today, but we're going to get after it as long as we can. Hope we run into something that uh, we can use. Otherwise, come during the morning, I'm just going to keep free fishing. Say what happens. So, say hi there. Yeah, no, it still it just sucks to get a blow up. I wasn't. I'm not gonna set the hook on anything. That's why I like throwing top water because I can see how big the fish are without ever sticking them. Look at that bank come all the way out. Crazy, this is the other side where you just were. Yeah. So you try to eat it to the mat. You see that? He threw the mat yeah. well before it went through. You get through it? Yeah, there's just no water underneath it. Seen it. Oh, 
are giant. Dude, I've seen your rod tip going like crazy. Did you see the whole mat move? Yeah. There's another one. There's two bites. There and there. Nope. I'll come all the way back here for two bites. Dude, you didn't even flip much of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's two you, fish. Not being a dig, but you can't even get your co-angler in there to get it. He's going to be fishing his open water. Oh, well. Yeah, well, I'm not being mean, but yeah, that no. you... Yeah. <laughs> Them two bites, that one where that fucking moved the mat. Dude, that, dude, the mat like this just. <laughs> your rod tip went like that, and when I seen it pull down that much, and you're just holding it. Yeah. Dude, I know it was a heavy fish. Yeah. Now if I can find some more grass. <laughs> That's first thing in the morning. Yeah. You could literally leave. Come back. Come back. Leave, come back. Hit it again. Well, well watch this shit, Dalton. This mat's in like ten foot of water. Holy shit. Fish here, but we could have. Now I didn't see it. Way down. No, I didn't. I'll, I'll allow it. We're in a new area. I'm not against setting the hook on one because if catching one fish Ooh, ruins it. Used to this reel. Yeah. If catching one fish ruins an area, it wasn't a very good area. Dude, I gotta use that. Going from three eighths to an ounce and a half. Yeah. I'm gonna put a three quarter on this rod. I'd put an ounce. An ounce? Yeah, I would do an ounce. Okay. Because this shit is thick. At least you'll have bulk, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. I'll do an ounce. This one's about what is it? Seven six? Seven, seven ten. Eleven? Seven ten, I think. That rod there is for isn't good for anything but an ounce and a half. She's thick. I like them. Yeah, buddy. Alright, we're getting the hang of this. Flip again, I don't know if it is. Y'all watch this. Eight, we're in 16 foot of water now. Watch this. Went through. Falling, 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 falling. There's the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't that's got, a one ounce weight. Yeah, that's a one ounce weight. It takes that long to get. I mean, look at that. 16 and a half foot of water. Punching mats. They in it too. Come in here. I can tell the difference between a small fish and a big fish, bro. <laughs> that uh the fish, the one fish that's got a hook on it went through. 
Oh, I thought I was surprised to see you said the hook, but I understood where you completely where you were coming from. All these fish have hit it hard. Because that last one, remember where the grass was twitching? Yeah. That was the same thing. It was literally just the thump, and that's all I felt. That one, that one. Yep, I've seen that. I'm trying not to let this boat drive by and see me. Oh, I know. I wanted to see. I wanted to make sure these were keepers. And this is a daggum keeper, son. Can I get a picture real quick? Yeah. We'll get a picture and be right back. We are getting out of this area. Oh, what I'd do to weigh in five of them fish. Might be getting on something. Well, that's a wrap for practice. Today was by far the best day. We shook off 15 plus was a fun day doing what we like to do I just decided to go do something in my comfort zone and found some fish so I can't complain managed one the one fish I set the hook on was a four and a half pounder so probably wasn't a smart thing but I wanted to make sure they weren't all dinks so time to go home and re-rig everything clean up the boat and get ready for the morning Hopefully, we're fish tomorrow. The weather's looking iffy, but you're either going to see me tomorrow or what will be day two.